Okay, Apple's virtual reality. Okay, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Apple's spatial computing headset is finally out. Apple Vision Pro is sweeping dozens of people off their feet. Just kidding. People seem to love it. It's everywhere. It's taking over the world. And everything Apple releases, it's kind of a big deal. Everybody is obsessed with virtual reality headsets all of a sudden. So I've been busting my brain trying to figure out who this product is for. And I figured it out. I actually figured it out. But before I tell you who this product is for, let me preface it with this. Every successful product that Apple has has a clear customer. When the iPhone came out, they were targeting smartphone users. The iPad is for media people. When the Apple Watch came out, they were targeting the sports people. The MacBooks, they have specific audience. If you're a light user, you get the MacBook Air. If you are a heavy user, you go after the MacBook Pro. Who is Apple Pro's customer? Everyone. Everyone and no one. When you look at their commercials, who are they targeting? Are they targeting professionals? Are they targeting targeting uh, people who consume media, who the casual user, who are they targeting with the Apple Vision Pro? It is really unclear who their target market is. If you believe they have a clear customer, let me know, put it in the comments because because I'm not seeing it. We're talking at almost $4,000, $35.99 plus taxes and this and that, a couple accessories, a case, an extra battery we're talking a four thousand dollar device who is this four thousand dollar device for people who are going to casually just watch a movie here and there for people who do hardcore video editing or the casual user who just wants to check their calendar who is the apple vision pro for it's a tough question to answer it's a tough question to answer at that price tag the way i look at this right now this is a thirty five hundred dollar toy it's a $3,500 first generation toy. Unless you have the money to spare to just check it out, to just see what it's about and buy it because you're an Apple fan and you just want to use it here and there, go for it. Go for it. But I don't believe this is for an average Apple customer who just wants something else, another product. I don't think that's for us. For $4,000, I am going to need this thing to be pretty useful. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm going to need this thing to have a purpose in my life. Regular people are not going to spend $4,000 just to play around on this once in a while. This still looks like a virtual reality headset. It looks like it looks like a really fancy one, but it looks like one. It doesn't really look like the next generation of spatial computing. I'm sorry. It does not. But after the initial excitement period passes here, are they going to be selling these like hotcakes the way they have been? I don't know. I, I really don't know. But what might happen is this is the Apple Vision Pro. What they might do is come out with the Apple Vision Air. That has to be a regular version. If like everything else points towards this being the Pro, right? They may just want this first gen product to be out there in the people's hands developers actually need to come up with some really really like immersive cool apps that we don't otherwise have that are that it's not i don't want just a port of an app onto a spatial window no you need to give me an experience like you need to give me an experience that i don't have that i can't get on the ipad i don't need the ipad to just be mirrored on the vision pro they need to create different experiences like you've seen the ones where you like like when you learn to play the piano how the lights come down and you're like you're pressing the buttons right at the right time the f1 formula race where you see the track and you see the cars and like everything is just like 3d and like it's like that's an experience or being courtside at a sports game that is an experience that's what they need to do to bring virtual reality for people to must have it's not it's not for every day to check your computer and check your schedule and like the run through run through your calendar that's not what that's for that's for a maybe a sunday night football game you put this on and you're there with everybody else who has apple vision pro or whatever you guys can talk to each other or whatever and you are part of the game like you can literally see and hear these guys that are right down on the field that is the experience that will sell a four thousand dollar unit just in case you guys want a little more information there's some really good videos from mkbhd casey neistat dave 2d go watch them they're fantastic all right guys thanks for watching have a good day peace 4,000 is just, just a lot, man. I don't know what to tell you.